Hello, my sewing friends. I have fabric to show you that was free. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room and I have a big stack of fabric here to show you. I got this all for free. I got it at a place called the Fabric Workshop in Knoxville, Tennessee, and they are located in the South Knoxville Community Center. And what they do is rescue all kinds of sewing stuff, and then they just give it to whoever wants it. It's all located in one place, and oh my gosh, I think I was their, uh, their target audience, <laughs> target customer, because I walked in and I went, what? So, I don't even know how I find these places, but boy, I'm really happy I did. Actually, I was looking for thrift stores so that my friend Andra from Andra Makes and I could go thrifting. And uh, turned out she didn't have time that day, but I saw this place and I thought, I definitely gotta give them a look. So I did. And they sent me home. Actually, I went home with all kinds of things here. So let me show you them. And because this is a relatively, <laughs> short stack um, when it comes to the amounts of fabric that I got on this vacation. Uh, I matched up some patterns with them. So let me uh, just jump in and show you. I got, uh, everything was already cut. So these are pre-cut pieces or left, you know, you got what the piece was. You couldn't, uh, it's not like there were bolts of fabric where you could, you know, measure yardage and that kind of thing. Um, so, I got half a yard of 66 wide, and I would call this Oxford cloth. And it's really nice, really nice Oxford cloth. I got that one. This one is a half a yard, but it's really stiff. And I'm not sure if somebody starched it or if it has sizing. There's not very much of it. And because it's such a small cut, that's why I didn't match any patterns with these. And then this one is a third of a yard, same stuff. This one is not quite as stiff. I thought maybe it was just like that one. So there's that one. And then one more of that is three quarters of a yard. And uh, it's, how wide was that? I think it's 66 wide, it's really wide. Um, and it's nice fabric. I mean, it's just Oxford cloth, but I love this stuff. So I'm not sure between all of them, if I could get maybe a, like a button front shirt out of it, um, that would be great because I got, I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, that would make a great shirt to go with something else that I could make. I found this, this is gorgeous. I, I honestly, I cannot believe I found this. This is a tweed and, um, I don't know what it's made of, but it is three and a third yards of 44 inches wide. That's how I know that it's apparel uh, fabric because if, if it were wider than that, um, it might be home deck, but it's not. This is so gorgeous. Look at these colors. All of that, uh, like a denim blue and a peach and a uh, little bit of aqua and white. Isn't that beautiful? That's just, I don't even know. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you'd make a Chanel suit from. That's what I would do with it. I didn't put a pattern with that because I have other plans for it, but man, is that not gorgeous? You know, what am I doing? I need to be going like that. Okay, I have one yard of this ticking stripe. I love ticking. It's like a denim. Uh, it's printed and uh, I thought, well, what if I took Simplicity 8841, which is my friend Trish, my BFF Trish. This is a tried and true pattern for her. Now a yard is not gonna give me a pair of capris, but it will give me a pair of shorts. So I thought, well, maybe I could do that with this. Just give it a try, see what happens. Why not? This is in the books now, I think. I tried to pick uh, fabrics that, or I mean uh, patterns, to match up with these that were actually in the books right now. But, you know, then I started resorting to what I have in my stash, so I'll link everything below. Okay, this is a really, really nice piece of uh, cotton knit. I mean, really, really nice. It's got a two-way stretch, not four-way. 
it's a yard and a quarter. So it's a nice amount. It feels really nice too. And it's pretty weighty in terms of being a cotton knit. It's not like a tissuey t-shirt knit. I mean, it's a, it's a nice weight. So I pulled out a couple of things. Uh, this is a pattern, it's New Mode, which I've never heard of that pattern company. And I got this pattern at a different place in uh, Virginia on my trip, but I really liked this little dress, or you could make the top, but I thought the dress was really cute. I pulled out that and then I pulled out Berta 7696 from possibly 2017. And I, I like this twist top. I thought with the stripe here, that might be kind of fun to play with that. So yeah, that's a nice piece of fabric. Yeah, so there's that one. This is three yards of 60 wide and it is the most beautiful piece of rayon that I've seen in a long time. This is just gorgeous. It's a creamy yellow and like an, almost like an antique looking thing and like a blue denim blue flowers. Uh, I don't know if I call this a ditzy print or not. It's a little bit larger, probably, but oh gosh, rayon. I love rayon so much. And to find this piece that was so much yardage. I was, I was thrilled. So I pulled out, where did it, where is it? I pulled out this. This was one of the patterns that I got uh, recently. I think this one came from that place. Uh, patterns were free as well. And uh, this is a blouse, McCall's 6467. It is from 2011, but I love this and I know it's a top and I know there are three yards of that, but I was thinking I could extend this down into a beautiful dress. Just all of the flounce stuff going on there. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I thought maybe that would work for this. I don't know. I may come up with something else. I don't know. This is just so pretty oh, and there's so much of it. That's what I love. Okay. I got another piece of that that uh, knit, and this is seven eighths of a yard. It is 70 wide. I don't know what this, where this came from. It has like a double selvage on there. If you know what that is, let me know. But, I mean, look, it's like, I'm not even sure how to, well, it's not double. It's just got, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's two way stretch and it's just a red. It's, it's a softer red. And I was thinking maybe the cardigan from Simplicity 9272. This is from this year, I think, um, 2021, last year. But I like this cardigan and I thought, oh yeah, that might make a really cute cardigan. So we'll see about that one. This, I'm not sure what this is. It is stiff, I'll tell you that. It says Regal Textile Corporation 1985. It's I don't think it's home deck. It feels like gabardine. That really is what it feels like. And it is such a beautiful pastel stripe. Look at that. So I was thinking it's light enough and uh, kind of benign enough. Is that the right word? For Simplicity 9377, which again is, I think this is this year, 2021, last year. I love this skirt. I just love it. And I was thinking that, you know, when you, you look at the button detail here, or even just down one side, I think this one's got, isn't that the one? Yeah, that, that one's got the buttons that go down one side. I thought the button detail would really bring out the colors in this. So there's certainly enough to do it, I think. And uh, oh, it's just really nice. I am pretty sure it's either a gabardine or a twill. It's got that kind of twill weave to it, but it feels more like a poly cotton gabardine. So not sure, but yeah, ideas, ideas. Okay, this one is one and three fourths yards. Yes, one and three quarters yards. It's 60 wide feels like just a basic bottom weight. 
I love the color. The color is like a, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is twill. So it's probably either 100% cotton or poly cotton twill. I love this color. It's, it's like a muted rose color. And I don't know if I can wear this up near my face, but I can certainly wear it as a skirt, which is what I pulled out. This is New Look 6703. I've been meaning to make this for a while. I like this one. And I just haven't done it. And I know there's enough of that here <clears throat> to make, to be able to make it. So yeah, I think that would make a very cute skirt. And next up, I've got some, I don't know what this is. This, I think it feels like voile. This is two yards, 46 wide. It's fairly sheer. Can you see, can you see my hand through there? That's fairly sheer. And it's just a wonderful tropical print with sailboats and palm trees. And I, I, you know, it's a fairly large print and I was struggling to figure out what I would do with that. And I, I finally decided, you know, maybe um, a camp shirt would be great for that. Oh, wow, it just started raining. Maybe a camp shirt would be great for this. So I found that, I knew I had this pattern, Rachel Comey Vogue 1622. This is from 2019, so it's probably still in the pattern books because it is a unisex shirt. I bought it for the men's version, you know, and it's just your basic button up the front shirt. But I really like the short sleeve version with this stitching detail. It's like, a, a, it seems um, like it's, almost like a princess seam. And then you stitch down, you open the seam up and then stitch it down. But I thought maybe that would work for this. I don't know, I I don't know. Because it's such a large print, I thought, I, I don't know if that would work or not. But if not, I don't know, let me know what you think because this really is a fairly lightweight fabric. And um, yeah, pretty sure it's a voile. I don't know. I might be wrong, but what else is new? This is gorgeous. This is three and an eighth yards, and it is right on. This says, I like looking on the selvages, and it kind of gives you a little bit of information. This is a 1993 quad text pattern. So look at this. Beautiful, gorgeous rayon. Oh man, this feels so nice. And look at the colors. They're all my colors. I love these colors. Yeah, so it's a, it's got a little bit of weight to it, actually. Um, although I would definitely make a dress out of it. If you wanted to do something like a bottom weight, this would work. It would work really nicely. It's just, it feels so nice. So I have a couple of things that I pulled out. I'm not sure, um, honestly. Uh, I don't know if I would want to use this pattern. I, I don't know. I kind of struggled with it. This is Vogue 1543. It is an Anne Klein design from uh, 19, uh, 2017. And it looks like this. Now this calls for chiffon or uh, what's the other fabric? Chiffon and or Georgette or lawn. So this is a little heavier, but I thought I don't know, with the design of it, here's the, here are the line drawings. Those are just tiny little pleats. And obviously you want, it's a line dress. So the idea here with the design is that you would, um, you would put those tiny pleats in and line the dress and it would be very floaty. You can tell it's a very floaty, pretty dress, but I think this might work for that. I mean, you'd still have those, those tiny pleats in the front and you could just put, you know, make a self fabric belt. And I think it would work. I really, really think it might. So I don't know. I always worry with Vogue if I'm like taking too big of a chance departing from what they're uh, recommending. But you know, there's a fair amount of this here. And so, yeah. So there's that one. I have uh, one and three quarters yards of the shirting. Now this is a beautiful shirting. It's just beautiful. <laughs> it really just, how many times can I say that? It's beautiful. It's probably 100% cotton. It is uh, not printed. It is woven. And I like the stripe. And so with this one, I thought maybe I could play with that stripe. I have 
one and three quarters yards is about enough for a very nice shirt. So I have some tops here that I thought might work. Um, I have Butterick 3030. This is a vintage one and this is from, does it tell me? 2001. Oops, there you go. And I thought with this, it would be fun to play with this in terms of um, like view C, which is this one, turning the stripes different ways. If you wanted to turn them horizontally and then vertically and then just switch that up, I thought that might be kind of fun. So yeah, I have a white skirt that I don't wear very often because I don't have any tops to wear with it. I mean, I do, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that might work. The other thing was um, I have McCall's 7093 and 7390. These are from 2016 and 2015, yeah. Two tops, again, I thought maybe I could play with those stripes. These are woven tops, so these would be great over a pair of white capris, and I do have some of those, so yeah. Options, options, it's good to have options. This uh, is 60 wide, it is two and an eighth yards, and it is a very lightweight denim. It does not have any stretch, none that way, none that way. And I had to ask my friend Adam from Adam Soves. I said, hey, is this what they call selvage denim? They make jeans out of this stuff and they use the selvage. And I thought, ooh, that's nice fabric. I love the weight of it. It is not a heavy denim, not like, um, you know, heavy jeans. It's not like a bull denim. It's just a nice weight denim. And I've made this before. This is McCall's 7906. It's from 2019, it's still in the books. But I thought, ooh, that would be nice. Make the shorter version and be able to wear t-shirts and other things with it because I really like the skirt. Even if you don't have much of a waist, it does flatter you. It flatters your waist. So yeah, I think that might be really a nice skirt. Yeah, here goes that one. And then this one, this is five and a third yards, 45 wide. That's a lot of yardage for this. And it is a beautiful shirting. It's peach with pink. Well, it's more like two, two shades of peach and a green and a taupe color. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so light and it's, it's a shirting. So it's just, it's a little bit see-through, but oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? And what I was thinking was it would be great if I could use the diagonal, the bias to my advantage with this. And I thought, McCall 7599. This is uh, from a couple years ago, 2017. But you know what? It's um, it's got that big full skirt, and you can tell by the way it's uh, falling that this would fall so nicely. And I thought, oh, that might be really pretty. So that's an option. And this is another option. This one, I actually think I got this there. Uh, this is Butterick 44.99. It is from two th uh, 1996. And I thought, again, playing with the bias. If you cut the bodice of this on the bias, uh, yeah, the upper bodice of this on the bias, and then cut the skirt on just the regular straight of grain, I think that would be really beautiful. I love this. I love the little shawl collar here. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And there's plenty of this here to do that. So I don't know. This has got some little pleats for um, on the bus line. So I don't know. I would probably want to make a muslin of this first before I cut into this, but I just think that would be really pretty. And you could even trim it out with some details like piping or, um, you know, maybe even some peach or maybe some of the green. If I wanted to make something different and then, you know, use it like with cuffs or something like that. So, yeah. That 
is the fabric that I was able to take away from a very generous, generous place that is doing their best to not have things just go into a landfill. I thought, hey, I will take them off your hands and send everybody I know to, the, to you so you can do that too. Um, I hope you will. If you're in the Knoxville area or anywhere that driving distance around there and you can get over to that place, then please do because they are amazing. I will link their Facebook page down in the description box because that's where you can find them. Okay, that'll do it for this haul. I have more to come, believe it or not. This summer vacation was a major kind of, wow, uh, fabric sewing experience for me. I did not spend as much as I thought I would, but mm, I got some great stuff. So I'll be back with that. And so thank you for watching. If you would like to see a playlist of my summer vacation, just the things that I got, you know, my treasures, the gems and all that. Have a look right over here. There's a playlist. And as always, let me leave you with this. Do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. That's that scripture right down there. I want to do that every single day. And I hope that you do too.